Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to combine two or more fields together using concatenation in Microsoft Access. We're going to see how to do it in a query so that you can use that query inside of a combo box. And then I'll also show you how to do it directly inside of forms and reports. Today's question comes from Bridget in El Paso, Texas, one of my Platinum members. Bridget says, I'm creating a combo box on my order form to pick a customer. It seems like you can only see first name or last name in the combo box while it's closed, but they both are in there when it's open. How can I see them both? Well, Bridget, to do this, we're going to use something called string concatenation. Let me show you how it works. Here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free download off my website. You can go grab a copy. I'll put a link down below in the link section. Now, if you look at my customer form and then go to orders, you'll see I've already set something like this up. Here it is right there. You got last name, comma, first name in the customer combo box. Even though last name and first name are two different fields in the customer table. How do I do that? It's something called string concatenation. There's a query right here. I'm going to right click and go to design view. Bring in the customer table. Here's the customer ID. And then I created a calculated query field which if you've never done a calculated query field before, go watch my video on calculated query fields. And right here you can see the concatenated fields. I'm going to click on that and hit Shift F2 to zoom in so you can see it right there. I'm creating a new field called LF. All right, that's called an alias. Then I'm simply concatenating last name and quote, comma, space, quote. That puts a little comma space in there between last name and first name and then an ampersand, and then first name. That's basic string concatenation. All right, I'll hit OK. And then when I run the query, it puts them together. Last name, comma, first name. Now you can use this field, this LF field, in your combo boxes and your other queries and forms and reports and so on. I cover string concatenation in a lot more detail in my Access Beginner Level 9 class. In fact, I'll show you how you can use string concatenation directly in your forms and reports like this. You could take two fields, last name, first name, put them together directly inside the report. Let me show you how to do this real quick. So I'm going to close this query. Save changes, sure. I'm going to go to a report. Now, I don't have any reports except this order invoice are in here, but I'm going to use a blank report. All right, let's just right click, design view. And let's say I'm going to make a simple customer report. All right, so I'm going to open up the properties. I'm going to go to record source and bind this to my customer table, directly to the table. All right, save that, close it. Now I can go to add existing fields. Let's bring in the first name and the last name. Bring them right here into the details section. And I can delete this other field that's in here. Let's line these up so they're horizontal. I'm going to delete the labels. I'm going to put first name over here. And then last name next to it like this. All right, shrink up that detail section. We don't need these other bands, too. Let's get rid of those. Just shrink them up to nothing. Okay, let's save this, and let's give it a print preview. Right-click, print preview, and that's what I've got, right? First name, last name separated. Now, I want to put them together in the same field without having to use a query. So back to design view. I'm just going to copy one of these guys, copy and paste. Let's slide it over here next to it. All right there. Okay. Open up the properties, go to all. Let's give this guy a name first. Let's do last name, first name. So LF, we'll call it. Now for the control source, delete last name. We're going to put our own control source in there, which is our concatenation equation. So I'm going to hit Shift F2 to zoom in so you guys can see it. And then put my equation in here. Equals last name ampersand quote comma space quote ampersand first name. And since I didn't use spaces in my field names, I don't have to worry about putting the brackets around there. Access will do it for me. All right. Very important. Don't put spaces in your field names and your table names. I cover that in my Access Beginner Level 1 class. Go watch it. It's four hours long. It's free. I teach you all the basics like that. What to do, what not to do. All right. Let's save this. Control S. And now I'm going to close that. And let's right click, print preview. And there we go. There's our concatenated field. So you can do that using a query, or you can do it right inside your forms and reports. Now, of course, keep in mind, if you do this in a form, this field is not editable. So it's pretty much only for display. But you can also use it inside your combo boxes. You can use it inside of your list boxes. All right, just like I've got here in my order form. Right? I use the query 
to create this combo box. If you want to see exactly how I built all of this, go watch my invoicing video. Again, I'll put a link down below. It's free. You can go watch it. Show you how I built this whole thing from the ground up. Lots of free training on my website. If you want to learn more about concatenation and the extended cut for members, I talk about something called null propagation. That's where we can add null values together and get rid of that little comma space there if one of those names doesn't exist. That plus an if function. All right, not too hard to do. Then we'll talk about the format and trim functions. If you bring in a field like a phone number that you just had the digits stored in the table, right, you could still format it inside of your concatenation using the format function, and we can use the trim function to trim off any leading or trailing spaces. Also, the same thing with currency. If you bring in a currency value, you just get the number 5,000. It won't be formatted like a currency value. That's all covered in the extended cut for members. Silver members and up get access to all of the extended cut videos. How do you become a member? Click the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different types of membership levels that are available. Silver members and up will get access to all of the extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and more. Gold members get access to a download folder containing all the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus access to my full beginner courses and some of my expert courses. These are the full length courses found on my website and not just for access. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, ASP and lots more. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to post any comments that you have. I do read them all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Click on the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of building databases with Access. It's over three hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. And if you like level one, level two is just $1. And it's also free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and you can send me your question there. Click here to watch my free access beginner level one course, more of my tech help videos, or to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video from accesslearningzone.com.